bacon. So I um, saw a video earlier of the watercolor misfit. She makes together all of her watercolor tube paints and created an illustration with that. And I thought that was a really interesting concept. So I got all of my acrylic paints, mixed them all together, and created a painting with my acrylic paints. Um, it's a really interesting um, thing to see all of your paints together and to see like what colors you prefer. So I had a lot of fun doing it. If you guys like the video, I hope you leave a comment saying so. If you do it, um, something like this, like mixing all your inks or paints together, I hope you would show me the creation you made. You can tag me on Instagram, Cassie.Frass, or, um, or Facebook, Cassie Frass Art at Facebook. And I'd love to check it out. So I'll get going with that video for you guys. So a lot of my uh, acrylic paints are actually li Liquitex heavy body paints, but I do have some Winsor & Newton Finity acrylic color paints that um, I got like four years ago from my cousin. And even then, though, they were probably like already eight years old. So these paints are probably older than a couple of you guys. And then I did add some uh, retarder into the acrylic paints because I prefer painting with it that way and it was easier. So the paint did not dry up as I was, you know, putting them one by one on to the palette. As I was putting them onto the palette, I was surprised about the amount of yellow I have in my acrylic painting set. I did pick up like a 24 pack of Liquitex, um, like a basic color set because it was just cheaper than buying the individual tubes. So that's probably why I'm not usually painting with yellow, so I was generally surprised seeing that. I really enjoy like blues and reds. Mixing together the paint is like my favorite part. I'm one of those people that can spend hours on Instagram looking at paint mixing videos. It is just so nice and relaxing. I was generally surprised about the color that I mixed together because I was expecting it to be brown and to get a green color, I was shocked. I do a lot of portraits, so I thought I had a lot of warm colors in my set, but I guess I didn't. I did opt out mixing white and black with these because I wanted a way to actually create tones and shadows in the painting, so th I waited until last as I was shading it to mix those colors in. And I didn't want to muddy up the actual color. I wanted it to be kind of vibrant. I know it was probably going to be like a muddy color, but still I didn't want no like gray color that I mixed up. That would have been boring to paint. I'm the type of person that when I mix colors uh, to create darker shades, I don't use black. I try to use like blues or complementary colors. So this was kind of like nerve-wracking for me to use black because it's such a strong pigment. It's really scary to use, at least for me, but you got to do stuff you're not comfortable with in art sometimes. And I'm glad I did because I learned how to use black better. I actually found it difficult just using white and black to shade, but I feel like I did an okay job. I did use uh, iridescent sort of like metallic white for the background, so there is a bit of difference between the background and the actual subject matter. And then to add the little spikes of the cactus, that was nerve-wracking too. I got my fine liner and had like the black mixture and just flicked the brush. And I was using the reference photo to make sure it didn't look weird. I don't know how well I did it, but I did it and I'm proud of myself for doing it. I was really inspired by how the watercolor misfit, how she did her illustration. She has a very lovely channel. I'm sure you guys have seen her stuff because it is amazing. I'll leave a link down below so you of the video so you guys could check it out. I guys I hope you guys do because it is so beautiful. She is an amazingly talented artist. We are coming to an end of this video and I would like to thank everyone who has stuck with me so far. Comic com 
comment cacti if you have watched it to this point of the video i'd really appreciate it thank you so much for watching i do have other social media platforms that i'll leave down in the link below if you would like to follow me on for my art other places on the internet thank you so much for watching i'll see you later gators bye Kronenberg a Renaissance Fair here in SoCal, and I do have a little vlog of that because I went to it for my um, boyfriend's birthday. We went together for that, so I have the kind of weird vlog because I was drunk and forgot to record a lot of it. But just look out for that one because that vlog should be up.